Linux Design 101 here, continuing where we left off. So we have a setup, and I was saying that we are going to start setting up a scene with a basic uh, platform. Uh, we don't need a terrain or anything right now because we'll be doing that in a separate video. For now, we're just going to uh, create a new scene, file new scene. In our new scene, we're going to want to go to uh, the Game Objects tab at the top here. We're going to want to 3D objects and we want a plane. There we have that plane. Let's uh, create a folder in our assets here. Let's call it materials. And let's call it something we'll recognize and that won't bug with other things called materials as you download assets because they're the uh, so we'll call it uh, our project materials there we go and then in our project materials we're going to want to create a material let's set it to green to simulate a grassy texture and we will set it to the floor <coughs> now that we have this uh, we already have our light and our camera here so we are fine in our camera we're actually going to want to remove our audio listening because ply game auto creates an audio an audio listener on load into the scene so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a player object so we're going to head on over to window asset store and we're going to want to download a, a free character so let's find one here quickly here characters we want humanoid so there's all kinds of uh, you know things we can pick so uh, let's uh, take this uh, free stealth character here let's uh, check it out see how many animations it comes with uh, walk cycle run cycle sneak forward run okay doesn't tell me exactly how many uh oh, oh oh wow this is actually a really good one so uh if any of you guys want to make a mage this here is a good character for you to start off with some reason uh there we go so let's download this sorry that took a little longer than it was supposed to guys While I download this, I'm going to cut the video here. Alright, well, the stealth character had some errors with it, so I went ahead and downloaded and imported the Red Samurai. <coughs> so with the Red Samurai imported now, we just need to close this tab, come back in here. We're going to right-click in our hierarchy. We want to create a empty game object. We're going to create a name for this call it character one because we eventually are going to have a second character and now inside of this character we want to place our samurai zero that out go back right here we want to zero this out so here is our samurai just chilling right here now we could name this art just for ease sake we are going to want to make a new folder and call it NPCs, I guess, will work. Yeah, I was going to say characters, but NPCs, because then we can just throw all our NPCs in there, including our characters. So we are now going to click on character. We're going to add a component. We're going to look for ply game. In ply game, we want to find character. Then we want to find player. And for this tutorial, we are using the third person controller. So we're going to add that. It's going to give us a character controller, which as you can see is not set up properly. So we are going to raise this up by one. 
as you can tell the character is still too short so we're just going to shrink the height a little bit and lower this down just so that it's not going through the floor there we go let's put this to 0 0.3 And that looks really good. Okay. So now let's name the character character one. It's already in our player class as uh, done in the first video. Well, first portion of the video, and it was also displayed in the introduction video that we had setting up your workstation and importing plugin. <coughs> so with this, uh, we do not need our detect method to be set, so we'll leave that. We want our start faction to be player. We don't have skills yet, we'll worry about that after. Uh, another thing we do need to go back on actually is in your factions tab, we never actually set their hostility. So you can just click this gear here and then it'll show up the factions relationship. And you're going to want the player to be hostile towards monsters. You want the monsters to be hostile towards players. And you want the pets to be hostile towards monster. Uh, you also want the monster to be hostile towards pet. There we go. So this is what it's going to look like, if you can see that. <coughs> but the red dots are the hostile. Uh, the side names are what it's hostile to is the top name so player is going to be hostile to monster and then monster to pet and then player and then pet just the monster now we can get out of there and continue building our character we're going to add another component go back to play game find character again we are going to need animation and we want the basic animation controller well my bad, the Mechanum controller. So we won't need to touch that right now. We will need an animator. So inside uh, here we have animation. So it's using old school, so legacy, which we do not want to use legacy for our player character. Legacy is good for NPCs though. We will get more into that when we start making NPCs and monsters. So we are going to want to add a animator on here and uh, we're going to need to go into here click on the character it has this little blue file looking texture you can't really see that probably not but it has a little white file with the blue box we're going to click on that we need to click on rig and we need to set it to generic and then click apply now all of the animations inside this character will be good for Mechanum animations. It also created this uh, little dude thing, this brown thing with the same name as the, the main object. So we're going to go back up here. <coughs> we actually need to do it on here. We need to put it on our avatar. So that is our avatar. We put it in our avatar here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that we have our avatar set up, we can uh, drop this into here. So that's our character. Our animator is the child. We're using child avatar, so make sure that is checked. Um, and then our controller right here, runtime animator controller, we don't have one. So we are going to right click, create animator controller we're just going to call this character one uh, go back into our art of the character one and we're going to drag and drop our animator controller into there we will uh, worry about the animator controller in the next video when we get into actually animating our player for now we want him to stay in uh, whatever animation he's playing for instance so uh, let's continue building our character. We're almost done here. We just need to now go back. Uh, we need to add back to play game character. We need to no, not character. We need to go to camera, third person camera. Good to go. 
Now apply game. We need to go to item systems. We need to put the equip slot back to uh, apply game and item systems. We need item bag so that we could have a bag. We need our width, our height. Uh, we can use that as is. <coughs> and uh, that's everything. So now what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to drag and uh, drop our character in our NPCs folder here. So it saves in our NPC folder. And uh, we should be able to just press play and start walking around. Mind you, um, there will be no animation. I will just start moving, of course. <coughs> and in our next tutorial video, I will start the animations process. So we'll see you guys then.